Okay, a quick update on where I'm up to with the inside of this van. You'll remember when I bought it, it was stripped back to bare metal. There's the photo of it. If I can get rid of that layer. Metal floors, metal ceiling, metal sides. And where I'm up to now, that was by the way about a month ago. Where I'm up to now, there's a double bed, which is six foot long from there to there. And as I'm five foot 11, it means I can stretch right across it. Um, being a double width, more than enough room for the dogs. I've put this polystyrene in as um, insulation. And on the sides, I've put cardboard. I'm going to cover that. I'm not sure what I'll cover it with. Maybe a siding. Um, same here, I'm going to turn these into cupboards. Um, on this side, I've actually used it as a um, hanging space for my clothes. But it's the same as on the other side, as you can see. Um, which I could turn into cupboards, but I think I'll just leave it as is, because it's all hidden. And I've just got to ruffle through my, my clothes there to get to whatever I need on the other side. Underneath the, uh, the bed, plenty of storage, heaps of storage. These um, drawers there, there's more drawers right at the back there as you can see. Plus I have all these um, plastic containers which carry all sorts of stuff from my tools because I've got drills and saws and stuff as I'm doing the stuff up. This matting I put in, it's excellent. You can hear cars in the background because I'm parked in a shopping mall at the moment. This matting is excellent. It's very warm with the holes in it. It means that stuff falls through myself and the dogs just trample dirt through. And every now and again, I take it all up and sweep it all out. I'll close this door just to shut out that sign. Sand and by and by the way, there's the inside of the door. It's a wall hanging, Aboriginal dot art wall, wall hanging. When the door is slightly open and there's a breeze coming through, it riffles and ruffles as if the kangaroo is moving. And lying in the bed, looking at that, it's quite an eerie experience. <laughs> I quite like it. I might put some more wall hangings or even curtains. You see, I've just got these, this doweling for that. I've got more doweling here. What I do at night for privacy, this uh, blanket, I tuck it in there and there, um, so no one can see through the windows, and I am going to get those tinted. I also put a blanket, drape it over this cargo barrier, so I have to see from the front cab, people peering in from there too. I'll open this again now. Up here, um, at the moment, there's plenty of storage space for mattresses, uh, mattresses for blankets, old clothes, whatever. I've got, that's um, a television video player. This one I particularly like. It's a very high-tech boombox. Um, it goes to, these, these are wireless. If I don't want any sound to escape the van, I can lie in bed with these wireless headphones on and just listen to music or to the television program or the video. This also plays and records this um, USB um, on a USB MP3, that's what it's called, it does MP3s. Um, so I can, it, it, it'll, the one little thing that I've got, um, I've just bought another one here, is an eight gig, and I've got another eight gig, and each eight gig one will hold about 200 CDs worth of music. So now I've got about 400 CDs worth of music. As you can see, this doesn't look very, very nice, I'm, I'm digging it up. Computer there. 
this is a camp table where I can keep foodstuffs and stuff in, in both of those. Down there is the dog's food. Microwave oven, toaster, kettle. I put some water there. Now here is the electrics. I have two deep cycle batteries, one there, one here, going to a very, very powerful inverter. It's a 6,000 watt inverter. Um, which means it'll give, it'll convert the power from those two 12 volt deep cycle batteries into normal household domestic power so that I can run such things as the toaster and that um, I can charge the cell phone, charge the computer. Um, I also have four 12 volt plug-ins like cigarette lighters and I can run or charge up the computer and other stuff um, on that too so I don't need to use the domestic power I can use the 12 volt power as well so I've got more than enough energy for what I need um, with gas as well that's a gas one So I'm very well set up, as you can see. Still a lot to do, a lot to do, um, particularly with these covers. They, they don't look nice. These are all um, DVDs, by the way, that I play at night. I can also play the DVDs on the computer, and I can play CDs and MP3 on the computer. I don't need that lot. But I think what I will do, I'm going to put make this a cupboard. I want a mirror. so. I, It'll be a sliding sliding cupboard. One side, one part will be a mirror. That's on the cupboard door. The other, I think I will have as a sort of entertainment center, and it will have a television set into it with um, speakers on either side. And behind it will be what is there now, which is storage. So there we go. That's where I'm up to. And the dogs are very happy. And I'm happy. Every day is a new, um, new experience. Every day is a new scene, a new place. And it's all very good. Do you agree, Nice? Here you go. Can you see how um, enthusiastic the dogs are? They just love this life. This is a fridge. Keep, keep all my frozen and cold stuff in there more than big enough it's also um, a great seat I put this um, on there which is non-slip so that the dogs can use it as a step upon onto the bed I've tried to make everything have more than one use it's also great as a as a footrest when I'm sitting on the office chair that's um, a camp chef when I want to sit outside now the office chair that's a swivel chair, it will go up or down um, by means of just a normal office chair, by means of those pedals um, so that I can either sit at the computer or I can swivel it and sit at the table there or prepare food. Everything is kept in place by these bungee cords, same as all this is kept in place by the bungee cords, the fridge is kept in place um, by those, even though it's got wheels, even though that's got casters. Um, everything is immovable. These are around the, the legs here, so that they don't move. Same as here, it's pretty well hidden, but this is holding in place the microwave. Um, this doesn't move. It, it would, would now, because I've just been using that toaster, but normally I have this around it. Um, same as the water there behind the cord that's also holding the battery. This thing, the whole table, um, is secured to the, to the back cargo space. This is my computer stuff. It's, this is for the, all the dog stuff, their, um, their veterinary supplies and such like. Shoes under there. Well, that's a bad glare, isn't it? 
shoes under there. And if we close the door, we get rid of the gap. But that's about it. I don't really have anything more to add.